Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of the SM Cast. If you guys are unaware, the SM Cast is a weekly podcast here on the SM22 YouTube channel where we talk about a bunch of things ranging from helping you on YouTube to talking about my personal life to talking about uh, stuff that you guys want me to talk about. I'll talk about anything, really. And uh, today's episode is about who controls your success. We will get on that in a quick second, but for right now, let me talk about uh, something pretty important real quick. So, today's episode, you guys may notice, is being recorded a little bit differently. Uh, Instead of recording it through my Blue Yeti microphone, which I still intend on recording with, um, I'm recording this episode through my phone microphone, just trying to see how it works, how it stacks up. Uh, If it stacks up well, then I would very much enjoy uh, recording with it in the future uh, for SM Cast episodes. Not all of them, of course. If I do a a collab with someone, then I will have them record using one microphone while I record using the Blue Yeti, of course. Um, But I want to see how it works because the big thing about... uh, recording the SM cast, the thing that kind of stops me from getting them out quickly enough is uh, the whole prospect of transferring the file and rendering it uh, on Audacity, uh, which is on my computer, on my PC. If I am able to do that from my phone instead, I'll make it a lot easier because then I could just put the file directly onto YouTube and just be able to call it a day. Um, uh, the SM cast is, of course, more about my voice than it is about anything else. And about uh, what it is that I talk about and how it is that it sounds. So uh, give me some feedback on this episode if you uh, would want to. And then uh, that's about it for this. So uh, I want to talk about my personal life for a second. I am recording this episode on Veterans Day. Even though it comes out the Saturday after. The reason why I'm recording it today as opposed to uh, my normal Thursday or Friday recording night is because... I have so much work ahead of me the next few days. I have practice for a show, uh, and when this episode drops, I will actually be in the middle of a show. So uh, look out for that, because it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, Again, uh, I still intend on making videos this week on editing and stuff, but I'll do that mostly in my spare time and when I'm not uh, actually doing the show, because I have practice for like three hours for the next few days. Uh, and then I have the actual shows, which are Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday, pretty much all day. Legit. Uh, call time on Saturday is 11 a.m., and I will be there until around an hour after the show will after the fa- after the last show will end. Um, because I'll be helping like clean up and strike down sets. I'll probably be there like two hours after the show ends, so like 10:30, 11. So that'll be a whole 12 hours all I've spent like cooped up in that little, um theater i mean it's, it's not it's not little or by any means but um it'll, it'll be fun you know to be there with all my friends uh i really do en- enjoy them a lot they are cool peeps i haven't been to school in forever i'm gonna be honest just because this three-day weekend kind of jacked me up like i like three-day weekends but they're just not always the best anywho let's talk about today's topic who controls your success who controls your success you might ask well it is none other than you End of podcast. No, I'm I'm just kidding. Um, Success is very determinant on what you put into it. Now, a lot of people say like, oh, I put a lot of effort into uh, what it is that I do. And I try my best to make it as optimal as possible for whoever it is up there to uh, put me on the right path, especially with YouTube. Like, for example, if you make a highly edited video... uh, about a topical thing and then it just doesn't catch on as quickly as you would want it to then it sucks because you might have put in work more than some other people did and you're not getting the rewards from that like those other people did um for example is the pokemon challenges videos um some of them i've seen that are really well edited and really well done just never took off you know like they got maybe like a hundred views and that's about it and then called it a day uh my deli bird one Uh, Only got about 100 views. I'm not complaining about that because obviously the whole point of that was to just kind of have fun with it and test it out as opposed to views. Um, But there are others out there who started with zero subscribers, made that one video, and it caught on and they got 50,000 views from it. Yet 
mine, which I made when I was at 500 subscribers, only got 100? That doesn't make sense. That means that there's someone out there who's determining that that video is better than my own, despite me having done this for two, almost three years. Now, uh, again, I'm not salty about it, but uh, that is something that you must think about whenever it is that you're trying to go for success, uh, especially on a YouTube platform uh, where your success is mostly determined by the algorithm, but it also has to do with how you can control it. You can put yourself out there. You can share your videos all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over Instagram, all over whatever you want, uh, which I don't do. I don't like to... Uh, uh, promote my videos on other stuff. Uh, it, it's mostly a me thing. I'm gonna be honest. It's mostly a, my anxiety kind of thing. Just like, won't let me because I'll like freak out and I'll be like, Oh, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm being in these people's way. I'm bothering them. And yeah, I might be, but does it really matter? And, um, it does kind of suck that we're in this scenario as of right now, uh, just with how YouTube works, because a lot of people, are discouraged from making YouTube videos because they think that their videos won't uh, get traction because of the algorithm. And while yes, that is indeed partially the case, if you, if the algorithm just doesn't like you, then you are not going to get noticed at all. Uh, I feel like for me, the algorithm kind of likes me, but kind of doesn't. Um, like I've said, I, I do have 500 subscribers, so that's something over the course of th almost three years. Uh, but there are some people who just make, like, one video and then kind of explode just out of nowhere. And um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, more power to them. But that just means the algorithm was very kind to them. Uh, it all has to do with their uh, them keeping up with it afterwards that brings it to an all-time high. Um, like, for example, a lot of people make very successful podcasts. A lot of people make very successful uh gaming channels a lot of people make very successful uh just anything you want really and it kind of just takes off and bada bing bada bam they have a success on their hands and it is all up to uh the algorithm when it comes to youtube stuff but for the most part when you are out in the real world and you are trying to find success it's up to you if you aren't going to do that one thing then you're not going to be successful if you're not going to uh, go to the proper classes that you need to do this one thing, you're not going to be successful at it. Even with YouTube, where the algorithm controls just the level of success, you control whether that success is possible or not. If you're going to make this video, then yeah, you are opening the door for success. If you're not going to, then the door might as well be bolted shut. If you uh, are making this video and you're making all the, all the shortcuts that you can in editing and you are just leaving big things that make the video a low quality, then yeah, people aren't going to watch it because people are not going to subscribe for low quality content. And yes, the YouTube algorithm is the one that determines like, okay, you can be successful now. It's up to the people who it originally shows it to on whether or not it can keep pushing it and whether or not it can keep determining that it can be successful. If you have make a low quality video and you, the algorithm is like, here you go, uh, five random people, watch this video. If they watch the video and they only watch a minute of it and turn away, what does that tell the algorithm? That tells the algorithm, wow, this video wasn't that good. People didn't really like this video. This video must be a low quality, which means they won't push it out. They'll push it out to maybe one more person, maybe just to get a larger scale. If, if the same thing happens then it's not going to be watchable and no one's going to watch it. And unfortunately, with long-term gaming content, like long-form videos, uh, like the gaming content I make is mostly about 30 minutes long. Not everybody watches all the 30 minutes. Hardly anyone does. Um, but unfortunately, uh, making short-form content like that is a little bit too difficult in a way. Um, like, it's, like I said, it just it all has to do with the algorithm and just how kind... The algorithm can be to you and it, it does suck because pe people out there who are genuinely talented aren't getting the recognition that they need because YouTube is just unwilling to give it to them and it, it does suck it it really does but it's it's kind of a part of life you, you know what I mean it's like it's like going to college right if you go to college 
and you have your uh, student loans and your student loans are ten thousand dollars if you don't pay the student loans then the student loans are going to keep piling up which means you're not going to get the success of paying them off ever and you're just going to keep putting it off and i don't know what that analogy was really supposed to mean but do, do you understand what i mean when i say stuff like that when i say that it's important to put as much effort into something as you can if you don't make that one decision at work, then who knows what will happen. If you uh, skip out on leg day, then, you know, you'll look like a T. You'll look like the letter T. And that's bad. And it's, like I've said, I've said time and time again, it all has to do with subjection. It, it's very subjective just on what success is. And unfortunately, that's the truth. Because if, if it wasn't up to, uh, to if it wasn't subjective then a lot more people would be successful because more and more people would be defi defining success in a different way. And like I've said, it's not the worst thing in the world to, you know, like not be successful, but it is something that you always strive for. It's something that as, as a community, we do strive for. And unfortunately, it just, it kind of sucks because we're just kind of going we're going as we go along and we're at the point now where a lot of people are scared to try new things because they don't know what controls their success they don't know if they are successful they don't even know what success is really and it really does suck but you control your success nobody can tell you whether or not you will be successful well people can't tell you but it's up to you to decide to be successful in the, in the first place. It's, it's you who decides to put yourself out there. To give yourself the opportunity to be successful. Yeah, success is eventually given to you. Through hard work. And proving that you can be successful. But you have to unlock the door. In order to be presented with it in the first place. So I hope you guys appreciate uh, this episode. Uh, I, I just, I'm speaking from the heart when I really do talk about this. Uh, I'm sorry that this, uh, episode is really short, uh, but it was kind of like, I didn't have too much to talk about. I just had enough to talk about and that's about it. That's about all I can really say. So thank you guys so much for watching or listening. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Uh, where we will talk about more stuff. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for future episodes of the SMCast, then please leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, I'm your host, SM22, and this has been the SMCast.